Hey friends, Ryan Nitt here, and today we're going to be upgrading the Z-axis on my Maslow, finally. So, I've had these parts printed for like six months now. This is the yet another Z-axis mod on the Maslow forum. The problem was I couldn't get this pillow block in the stock one because the kit that they came, that the guy said to order... I don't know, I ordered it, it took two months, and then I never got it, and the guy sent another one, and I still never got it. But anyway, so I ended up ordering all the individual pieces, but for whatever reason, this pillow block here was a little big, so I had to go back and forth with the creator of this, nice guy, um, a couple times before we got it to where this would fit. So that was holding me up, slash procrastination. So the stock kit just kind of uses the sleeve, Sorry, it's such a mess in here. I really need to clean up, but it just uses the sleeve here to glide up and down, and I'll show you the problem here that you run into, why this is necessary. And I believe that this is like a lot faster than the Z-axis, because the Z-axis that comes with the stock kit is slow as freaking molasses and is what takes about two-thirds of the damn cutting time, if not more. So anyway, let me tear this off of here so I can show you the problem. All right, so this little track right here, there's a little notch on the edge of the router that slides up and down there to keep it from turning. And if I can get my light right, you can see it's got an indent right there. That is the general locations that all the, the various eighth of an inch or quarter inch or whatever it is that you take to you know, your bite in the wood. So it, the router is obviously harder than this little aluminum case, so it's digging notches. So, sorry it's not focusing on it, but I've had to file that out two or three times to get it to slide in there, and it looks like if I try and use it again, it's gonna get stuck. So that's the problem, and I've not used this, I mean, I'd call it like moderate use. I've not done any heavy carving or anything uh, where it's going up and down a lot and you know v-carve or any of that fun stuff so unfortunately that's the problem so this thing's about worn out anyway so let's tear this apart and start assembling so we got everything about as far as we can get tonight because some dumbass didn't order any nuts so there's that, and I don't have long enough uh, M3 bolts to bolt through here to attach this nut, unfortunately. So it's another trek to Home Depot. And I also don't have any bolts to bolt these down to the, to the base here. So that sucks. I gotta get them too. So hopefully Home Depot has a better selection of metric bolts than they did last time. Okay friends, we made a trip to Lowe's here. And we made a little progress obviously, but we're still missing some things. One thing you gotta note with stuff on the internet is people um, are great, but there's not a lot of metric stuff available in the US. So it kind of sucks that there's no, I can't really even find any M8 or M6 bolts, uh, let alone square ones. Um, but we got some quarter inch in here that worked um, relatively well. And I think those are number 10 screws up in there that worked. And I got some more quarter inch bolts or five sixteenths, I believe, that go in here, but one, they weren't long enough, which is unfortunate, and two, the bolts don't really fit up in there. So we're back to square, well not square one, but half square. So I'm going to just break down and order some more bolts, it's going to take a while, but order some square bolts, nuts, I guess, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to have to print these because I tried 
unfortunately it didn't work out. I took some quarter inch nuts here and ground down the edges to get them to fit in there and they fit. But when I tried to screw a quarter inch bolt in here, cinch it down, <laughs> that one broke and that one broke. So I got some measurements here to make one that will fit with my quarter inch bolts because they fit through there reasonably well. I just, I don't, this is for something else. It's a quarter inch for my bed. I got some quarter inch bolts here. They're one and a quarter inch, but unfortunately they're too short. I need one and a half inch, which is a bummer. So I'll have to get those. So we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. Here we are a couple days later. You know, still my fault that I didn't get the right parts, but I did print these again. You can see my quarter inch bolt fits in there and my quarter inch nut goes pretty good. Pro tip, when you're printing stuff, don't rip it off of the printer right when it's done printing or it'll warp. You gotta let it cool down. <laughs> If you pull it off when it's still hot, it goes like this. But that shouldn't really affect our project here because it's still straight, so it just looks weird. Anyway, so we've got our longer bolts, a couple more of these square nuts, our stuff printed, so let's finish assembly here. Got her assembled here. Looks pretty good. I need to plug my computer in and test it, make sure it all works. Change the pitch on the, the Z screw here. First, I'm going to clean up a little bit because it's a giant mess. All right. All right. We got her all together. We got our ground control here. So if we push, well, we're at the top. So if we push lower. go too much lower it's going to push it off the deck but you get the idea okay so the next issue I wanted to tackle before I put this up there is a touch zero if you look on here there's a touch zero button so there's some GIO pins on the back of the Arduino which is mounted to the back here Anyway, they're down here somewhere. But it's an Ox 4. Um, so I got made a cable, some little inlet ports or whatever, and then I put some gator clips on the end of it. And I got this metal plate left over from another project. So theoretically, it should just slide down there, touch zero, and then I won't have to spend 20 minutes messing with the freaking zero every day. So let me hook that up and see if it works. Well, we got her back up there. The Z-axis probe does work, but it is a complete pain in the ass to get down there. I don't know what I gotta do, because I gotta hook one of these to the bit, and the other one goes to the plate on the back, but I mean, just to get in there to the bit, I can't even reach it like that so I need a, a longer probe or something and a longer piece of metal because well, you can kind of see it's, it's a little too short even diagonally so we'll figure that out later but anyway I'm pretty happy I'm gonna cut some stuff see how it works I did the one thing I did change I didn't really film is I changed the depth here that it's set because it was all the way up when it was out so now it's got a better range of motion so anyway that's not a big deal just an adjustment that needed to be made 
put it back up there. So now we're gonna, I don't know, I guess we'll cut something. All right. A note, make sure you turn this, turn the router so that you can get to the button there. I had it winged around so it's behind the dust shield and let's just say it's not easy to move. Well, we got our deal here all ready to go. Got a position, got my uh, stock here changed out. We got thing here, this is a sign I'm gonna make for my niece. So you can see I make a little dot. Oh, you can't really see it with a Sharpie and then line up the bit where it needs to start. So wish me luck. <laughs> product honestly have no idea what happened here this is the same exact program all I did was move it down and start it over I, I don't know the when I did that the z-axis had zeroed itself out way down in there so who the hell knows but I set it back to zero and restarted it and it worked fine so I showed you the one problem here my only suggestion would be to make this piece somewhat stronger. I mean, you can make this all the way through there thick and, but it seems to be working fine. So who knows? Anyway, that's that. I got about 10 more of these to cut for different kids. Um, so wish me luck. Yeah. Keep it real. And we'll see you next time for more fun CNC works.